Dark Souls 3. Whew. Welcome back. I ate some lunch. I'm ready to go again. I ate some fruit and vegetables for today. Not just junk food, which I also did eat some junk food. Make sure you eat fruits and veggies. Make sure you eat healthy stuff. No, I'm not playing online. Fuck off trying to sell me a membership. <clears throat> this is part three of my blind let's play of Dark Souls 3. I'm quite enjoying it. I don't know that it's my favorite uh, from software game. I really, really, really enjoyed Dark Souls 2 that I just played through. The PS3 edition. Uh, Dark Souls 1 was amazing. Elden Ring was a lot of fun. Here we are. Uh, I'm getting really fucking annoyed with this area, so I'm going to take my option. Uh, yeah, I don't love how this game doesn't generally present you with a ton of um, branching paths to let you go. You know, if one area is too hard, you can, like, try a different area. Um... I mean, maybe there are parts that I'm, like, just not finding. Like, there could be branching paths that I just haven't found yet. Um, but, uh... What the hell am I saying? Tailbone Spear. Oh, maybe I'll get that. From someone's tailbone, though. That's fucking weird. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> There's only one path into that fucking Irithyll city, and I'm just getting annihilated. What? You're interrupting my fucking speech, bro. Who the fuck are you, and where are you? Oh, yeah, the guy, like, cozying up in the goddamn rot. Um, yeah, I like... When there's an area that is just kicking your ass, you can, like, switch it up and just try a different area. You know? And then just come back later when you're less frustrated or, it, you know, this game's an RPG, so I'll be more powerful, I'll have better equipment. So that's fine. So I at least have this one other branching path. That's one of the many things I loved about uh, Mario 64. And, like, even earlier games than that, obviously. Like, Super Mario World gave you that branching path kind of thing. It's really good. I like that design. Um, yeah, so at least I have this place to go. I mean, this place might kick my ass, too. Ah, uh, we're about to find out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh wow. Where did that guy come from? Fuck, man. These guys are doing the same, uh... Oh, get away from the bonfire, man! same shield and spear stuff that I'm doing. That's good choice, I understand. Oh, man! I, I really thought since he only had three fucking health left I could just get him through his shield. There we go. Okay. Good, good. Oh, man. Every enemy has so much health. Like, I don't have anything else to upgrade my spear with yet. Hopefully I'll find stuff. There's an item down there. I mean, I like the snow. It's pretty cool. It's neat that I'm in a painted world. I mean, I could have left that guy because he was just sitting there, but, I mean, odds are, once I run past him, he's going to get up and fuck up my life. Oh, my God. Three on one. At least only one of them has a shield. Okay. All right. How did that guy die so fast? Did I already do damage to that guy? Or something else did damage to him? Yeah, baby. Okay. This area might be more my speed. That fucking city of Irithyll. Holy shit, only one way into the city, and... It's like a fucking... Super horde of enemies. Holy shit. Yeah, the tree. Fucking right. Oh my god! Come on. Come on! Yeah! Come on! Backstab. Backs. That's not gonna be a backstab, obviously. 
I don't know what game I'll do next after this. Now that I'm doing this, it's, it's... Fuck, it's a lot of fun. I wish I had started doing this years ago, man. This is a lot of fun. Fuck, it's 2024. The PS4 has been out since 2013. I could have been doing this way back then. That's unbelievable, man. Ah, uh, I mean, hopefully there's just, you know, a reason why it's only happening now. We'll find out. But, uh, yeah, there's tons of games I could do after this. I'd like to do... I'm not going to do another super hard game like this. It is fun, but I'll definitely do something a little bit uh, slower and easier. Like, maybe I'll do a run of Final Fantasy VII, the original. That game I love. Uh, could be a lot of interesting, like, story stuff to comment on there. I could do... I just beat Chrono Cross recently, but that's, like, one of my favorite games ever. That game has a really deep story. So I could do that. That would be a ton of fun. Hello. I mean, should I be carrying my torch out here? Maybe. Ah! Please get him. Oh, wow. Oh, no! No! Holy shit. I don't think my torch... Yeah. Uh... Pro tip for anybody who doesn't know this, but, you know, obviously in the dark, uh, a bright light is really useful. If you're, um, you know, a lot of people obviously already know this, but uh, if you are not a driver or don't have a ton of driving experience, if you're in the fog, putting on your bright lights, like your uh, high beams, doesn't make it easier to see through the fog. It actually only illuminates more of the fog and makes it harder to see. So you don't turn your bright lights on in the fog. Um, is this bait? Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, all from Rhyme Blue Moss Clump. Awesome. Okay, so I think I came from back. Yeah, I came from back there. I saw that tree. Oh my god. Alright. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna try and make my way back around here to where I was. I like to, like, just map a place out mentally as I go. Oh boy, big wolves, big, big wolves. What is that, what is that? Is the tree attacking me? Oh my God, three wolves or more. Oh my God. This is super dangerous, and I'm super fucking dead! It's a goddamn fucking tree shooting fire at me. Holy shit, man. I guess I lure the wolves away from the magical fire tree. Man, oh fucking man. Uh, just give me one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Ugh. Uh. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I got distracted by a text message there. Obviously, that makes for extremely uh, boring video content when the person just drops their fucking controller and uh, you know doesn't say anything so that's my bad I'm not just gonna read out the fucking text I'm sending it's just like some Facebook marketplace shit trying to coordinate with somebody to uh, buy something god I gotta kill all those fucking guys again like if I want to go over there and make sure I got everything in that area son of a bitch whatever okay uh, obviously I need to be a little bit more wary of these fucking magical trees. I'm in a painted world. There are magical death trees. I can't lock onto it. Oh yeah, this is kind of like those skeletons... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, in the high wall of Lothric. That were like... 
kind of like growing uh, out of the ground. They were like high up. I wasn't sure if they were like hung or, or, or impaled, but they're actually kind of like growing out of the ground uh, in some sort of Resident Evil horror-esque method. So that seems like what that is. Oh man, there's the super spear guy. I mean, I want to explore this. Okay, there's this path. All right. Get over here. Come on. I don't want to aggro all the other guys. I just want to get you to stop throwing spears at me. Okay, this guy's not that strong. He's just meant to be annoying from far away. Gotcha. Gotcha. There's something up there. I really, um... Okay, so this is the part over here where the thing broke off. So I don't really need to worry about that. Yeah, I really want uh, a set of binoculars. I wonder where I get those in this game. Assuming they're in this game. I mean, I had a pair in Elden Ring. I had a pair in uh, Dark Souls 2. Hello there, governor. What? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Fair. Boom. Poke. Okay. Oh, yeah. So they give you a bunch of trees that don't attack you just to put your guard down. I mean, I do like how intelligently they make these games. Like, they always do something to put your guard down so that they can get you. And that is smart. Uh, you know, some of the stuff that I complain about as I'm playing these games is just part of the experience of, you know, being in an extremely hostile world. Obviously, I'm not just going to be like... Yay! This is all happy sunshine and rainbows! Because it's not, but it is still uh, more entertaining than a lot of the other games out there. I do enjoy it, for the most part, <clears throat> in spite of my protestations. Okay, who's over here? Who dat? Who dat? Who dat? Oh, goo? Is it a goo monster? Oh, 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 I see, I see. What are you gonna do to me that's super deadly? Okay, four pokes. Four pokes, and we are good to go. Um. Okay. Poison gem. That's gotta be for infusion? Dark gem. Poison gem. Infused to create poison weapon. Good stuff. Alright. Okay, so this is just a little dead end. Okay, so I have to go and fall off of that edge over there. <clears throat> that is my option. Okay, there's a guy with a torch over here. Hopefully nobody else gets aggroed. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Holy frig, man. Where the hell did you get those sword skills? Okay, can I get off of this edge without aggroing anybody else? No. Okay, I need a backstab on this guy. Stab. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I just don't want to get a spear thrown at me. Okay. Two shield pokes. Gotcha. What the? Dude, I have three guys on me right now. Oh my god. Ah! Damn! Oh, wow, he missed me. Well, I guess they're just as good as at uh, missing with the fucking spear as I am. Fuck, man! What a bunch of fucking dog shit. Holy shit, man! Oh my god! Fucking chasing me down like crazy! Okay. 
Backstab. Okay, fuck this, man. Let's go after you. Okay. Fucking fuck! Son of a fucking bitch, man! Ah. <sighs> I don't like it when every single fucking enemy and every single encounter is like super hard level. Uh, it's better when there's a fucking flow to things and there's a variety. God damn. Oh yeah. Yeah, everybody come at once. Oh, uh, can I get in for the backstab? Yes. God, they do a lot of fucking damage. Holy shit, man! Fucking no backstab for whatever fucking reason. Just rolled the dice and didn't want to give me the backstab. Jeez, man! There's like no fucking breathing room. Man, they all fucking cover each other so fucking well. Jeez! There's the spear guy too. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I fucking know. Fuck. And I'm like backing towards other enemies. Now I gotta fucking retreat. Jeez. Fuck you. Get behind him. Jeez, where's the back... There's the backstab. There's the backstab. He's still not fucking dead. Damn you! Had my fucking chance to get him. What the hell? Fuck, man! Son of a fucking bitch! Why does everybody praise this fucking game so much, man? There was like two areas in all of Dark Souls 2 that frustrated me this much. And the first area when I wasn't powerful. Fuck, it's just random whether you get the fucking backstab or not. Now this guy's gonna shoot fire at me as soon as I try and kill that guy. Get the fuck over here, buddy.
somehow I gotta get up there eventually. Uh, I don't know if I should even backstab the guy on the ground or if I... Like, I want to go and backstab one of the front guys hoping that this guy just stays asleep. But if he gets up... Uh, let's find out. Yeah, I should have backstabbed the guy on the ground. Like, what's the strategy? What's the fucking strategy to deal with this shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't, like, even if I get a backstab, it's not a one hit. God, he can just fucking combo all fucking day. No fucking stamina meter for him. Let's go into the fucking hallway and fucking back myself into a fucking corner. If, there, if this guy didn't have a shield, that would actually be a viable strategy. Yeah, oh, what the fuck am I gonna do in here? And the fucking shield guy always winds up up front. Oh, no backstab, of course. They always fucking stick together. One won't get way ahead of the crowd and endanger himself. Not even dead yet! Fuck! He just fucking surrounds me, so I can't even, like, just shield. Holy fucking Christ! Fuck, man! This is dumb as fucking shit! Once again, I fucking make it through the first time, like, by pure fucking luck. Like, am I playing so fucking horribly that I should just be dying over and over and over and over and over? I'm not even making progress! It's getting worse! Like, I might as well just fucking button mash! Because we all know that's super fun. That's literally the whole reason why I play a game like this, is because it's supposed to not be about button mashing. You lose your fucking lock on if, like, just if the wind blows in the wrong fucking direction. Like, how did his fucking shield block that? How is that not a backstab? Okay, if I can get a backstab on the fucking torch guy now. Okay, blow your torch at me. There we go. Fuck! Holy shit! Fucking both of them! Like, how do I even... It's literally just luck that I don't die on fucking wake up out of the fucking backstab animation. God damn! Like, how is it that this game gets so much praise and Dark Souls 2 gets so much fucking hate? I do like that you can change targets mid-attack animation and it'll track the one that you change to. Fuck! A miracle occurred! I got a fucking backstab! Oh. Yeah, I guess I really gotta watch where their fucking feet are positioned, not where their actual back is. Jesus fucking Christ. And this is like... Just fucking stage one of like 12.
Like, if I could get one more upgrade on this weapon, then I could actually kill them in a backstab and then a fucking fully charged attack. But I don't have access to that. Oh, of course there's that guy. And then watch, this fucking tree will just m miraculously wake up for the first time ever. What the hell? Okay. Oh, the snow fucking has to re-collapse each time? Surprised it didn't just dump me off the fucking edge. Okay, well, I'm not going that way first. But there's probably fucking wolves everywhere. Can I climb up here? No. Shit. How many does it have to be at once and I have nowhere to fucking run to now? Does it literally doesn't matter that I have a fucking shield. And these things are fucking tanks. They can like take more damage than a fucking armored knight. That's an exaggeration, but not by much. Yeah, I know you're a pack animal and you're gonna fucking surround me. If I walk three fucking steps away from you, I lose my lock on. Who cares that I'm using a weapon that, like, relies on the fucking lock-on? Like, what the actual fuck am I supposed to do? My fucking roll attack does no fucking damage. Fuck you! Oh, I have no fucking stamina left! And you're a fucking master fucking dodger! Yeah, because dogs in real life absolutely know how to dodge spear fucking strikes. HOLY CHRIST! Dude, it's like... Why should I even do this fucking slow and steady? It, it's like they want me to just fucking run through it. HOLY CHRIST ALL FUCKING MIGHTY! DUDE! Ah, oh, you would think- Oh, I killed another one! I'm getting close! I'm getting closer to safety! No, I killed three, but there's twelve more waiting. Hayden amongst the fucking snow. Like, yeah, any item is, like, always fucking bait. Yeah, that'll help me. A temporary boost in luck for item discovery. Yeah, that's really gonna fucking help me. There's another wolf. And is that two more over there? Or is it just one? Two. And there's one. And they're all spaced apart. There's no, like, spot to sneak through. I don't even know where the fuck I'm trying to go. There's an item way over there to bait me into another death. And then up here... There's, like, at least three of them and a magical fucking tree. There's the magic tree. Okay. Like, like if it's just two, maybe I can beat them. With fucking crazy luck. Assuming he doesn't fucking howl and call everyone else. Yeah, I hear ya. Fuck me, man. I mean, since you're taking it slow, I might as well just... Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. No fucking way. 
Like, is there anywhere I can get any amount of safety or, like, strategic fucking advantage? No, the answer is no. Literally, uh, I'm, I okay. So I was correct in reading the sign that said like mighty fucking warriors only that I should leave this for a long fucking time because it seems like it's probably going to be hard as shit. And yes, it is. Like realistically, what's going to get me through this area? More damage. I just like. More damage and more stamina. I just need to be able to tank more hits, have more health, and kill them more quickly. Like, even the souls I had accumulated there. It doesn't even matter that I lost them. It's not even enough for half a level. And there's literally only one other fucking way to go, and it's here. And there's only one way through this area. Doesn't matter that it's a city where there should be all kinds of different fucking streets. They fucking funnel me down one fucking way where I have to fight through, like, enemies that are, like, harder than the final boss of most fucking games. When I started running into shit like this in fucking Elden Ring, like, I just started grinding. Oh my god! One hit! Blasts my shield back! I can't even take one hit! And I've, I'm, like, building my character around having a fucking shield. Oh, good. Let's... I mean, not that this guy is, you know, the part that's blocking me from getting forward, but... Yeah. Good. There's my new fucking strategy. Cheesing. Because that makes the game super fun. Alright. Let's wait for this guy to slowly turn around, get his attention, because I can't fucking fight both of them at once. I'll just fucking die. You know, I don't mind taking this slow and steady if it wasn't so fucking dangerous. Like, you know, it gets to be not fun doing it slow and steady when you have to do it 12 fucking times in a row. Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't have the backstab. you dude I'm wearing heavy armor he's wearing like looks like medium armor and I like he can poise through everything I do to him and I can't poise through fucking shit yeah come on Literally nothing I can do to him when he's got a shield up. Like, I'll just bonk off the fucking shield and then he'll just, like, fucking annihilate me. <sighs> Plus you had extra fucking healing items in Dark Souls 2 that you would get. Not shitloads, but you had enough life gems here and there that you could just use to top up, like, the amount of health I had lost here. Plus, by this time in the game, I already had 
I mean, I do have a spear that's healing me a little bit after each enemy, but I also had the restoration ring, ring, restoration ring, to slowly restore health. Just like I had in Elden Ring, the Blessed Dew Talisman. So there's the hair guys, which are reasonable. Even a few of these guys at once is, like, doable. The fire guy is like a fucking golden god of combat. And he's probably not just, like, not even just a one-off. Like, if I get past him and then lose later, I'll probably have to do him again. And, like, how is his fucking sixth sense? Is he gonna know I'm here before he even gets around the corner? Maybe. Oh, how did I lose my lock on? Dude, that would have been, like, a good chance to get a bunch of damage on him, but I lost my fucking lock-on. Just, just magical. I mean, it looks cool. Uh, there's modern games for you. It looks cool. Is it fun to play? Well, it looks cool. And this is, like, one of the best modern games as far as I'm concerned. People complain about Nintendo because they're too quote-unquote kiddy. Kitty. No, they're the ones who actually make games that are fun to play. Like where you can actually just like wind down. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't backstab this guy. I mean, you would think from this far away I could, like, take these guys on and be fairly safe from the magic guy, but no. No, I'm still in so much fucking danger. How did he not notice that? No one fucking knows. I'll sneak up on him like I'm Mario tiptoeing around a fucking piranha plant. Stay directly at his fucking back. We've already learned. I mean, as far as I can tell, he's unbackstabable. I'm not even going to try. I'm going to go for a charge attack to get as much damage as possible before he gets aggroed. Thank the fucking Lord, man. No special item. I mean, please, please let him be a unique enemy that doesn't respawn. Please. Three of these guys wandering together. Oh, is do I do the running or the jump attack by like running and hitting R2? I do. That's interesting. Oh my god! Dude! Jeez man! One fucking little mistake. You know, when I used to play the super hard shit in Super Monkey Ball... You could get better at it. Because there wasn't so many moving fucking parts. I mean, I like the moving parts of combat, but... <sighs> like, it's well known that the people who get the best at these games... Uh, just memorize everything. Like, obviously, the, the cream of the crop are the ones who have everything memorized and know all the fucking OP strategies. And then also, like, have skill. But they don't make these games where you can just, like, figure it out on the fly. In a satisfying fucking way.
Fuck, I, I fucking bet my fucking ass that that fucking fire guy's gonna be back. Fuck off. Fuck you. No fucking damage because he has a shield. Fuck! Third attack, yeah. And he, he doesn't even need to take a break after doing a giant fucking combo like that. Yeah, swirl with your blade so it hits all around you. I'm like hammering the fucking roll button. And though, like, even though I haven't run out of stamina, I still can't fucking roll. Because I just have to sit there like I'm like paralyzed by having a fucking blade clang off my shield even when I have tons of fucking stamina left. What the fuck was that? Yeah, it's slightly risky just jumping in with a fucking... like a jump attack out of nowhere, but like... I had most of my health! Like, a lot of this game has been fun so far, but it's it's getting a little bit absurd. Like, I, so far, I would definitely not put this game above Dark Souls 2. Like, at least in Elden Ring, yeah, you would get, like... You would get bottlenecked if you wanted to beat certain things. Like, the end of the game, the last, like, four bosses are really fucking hard. But... There was so much optional stuff, there was always something else you could go and do in that game. You can grind these guys for large titanite shards, well who fucking cares? And then the, the more times you have to repeat it, yeah, the more fucking aggressive and sloppy you fucking get. And the more likely it is you're just gonna die. Now let's find out. Is the fucking giant Fire Lord back again? I can't tell. I fucking hope not. Here's the little fucking newbie enemies that can also just fucking destroy me extremely quickly. <laughs> They're always just left with fucking one HP and yeah, of course he's back. Of course he's back. And he walks so fucking slow. And I'll get like one hit in on him, maybe, if I don't like aim it wrong and clang off the fucking wall. God. He literally can't see me. He has no way to know where the fuck I am. Dude, I mean, I'm surprised I didn't fucking die there. At least they're still chasing me. Look how good they are at fucking creating formations, though. I'm surprised that didn't fucking kill me. Oh, I'm backed up against the wall. This feels like an end game area, and obviously it's not. I've only got one fucking Lord Soul. Like, hopefully I can just take this guy out, the rest of his health, 
in my one stamina bar. It's amazing that I can fucking stagger him. It's how fucking big and powerful he is. Well, uh, let's not fucking die on the fucking noob enemies now that have the fucking formation ability of fucking Roman Centurions. Guy's got three fucking health left. He's gonna fucking destroy me and my entire fucking clan. Yeah, perfect. New move I've never seen before. Jeez, man. Shut the fuck up! God damn it, man! This video is 46 minutes long so far of just rage. Like, eventually I'll be able to open that fucking locked door from the other side and get a shortcut. Who knows how many more fucking deadly enemies I gotta go through to get there. He's up on the fucking balcony. To lure me up. Oh, he'll, oh, he'll walk at one fucking kilometer per year. So... So I'm going to get lured up to get up the stairs, go around to approach him, and how... Let's just... Let's not bet on whether there's going to be a bunch of other enemies that run out at me as soon as I get, like, up there. But it's how many enemies and how difficult are the enemies that are there. Like, am I safe if I run, or can he still manifest the fire underneath my feet? Yeah, I'm not safe even if I run. So now I have to fight him in a little hallway because there was that other enemy over there. No stamina. Oh, wow. Okay. This guy's surprisingly fucking merciful. Just one more big hit. Holy Christ. Wow, two of those guys, and I'm like trapped in here. Please. It would be nice to think, oh, that guy's gone down there. We'll just let him fucking walk away. No, he'll he'll come back and he'll approach me at the worst possible moment. So that's not a viable strategy. These guys have perfect fucking spacing! Never mind, I'm dumb. It's not like I have no strategy on their shield. I just kicked their shield. I forgot. Oh, but if you get the input wrong... <laughs> because the forward plus fucking R1 just doesn't always fucking work unless you have fucking computer fucking precise input. Like, is it that? Yeah. I'm trying to do the forward plus R1. Can I not do it when I have a shield up? No, I can't. I gotta let my fucking shield drop to do that. Okay, okay, okay. I will admit, I forgot that I could do the kick. Pontiff Knight Curved Sword. Yeah, whatever. Whatever.
I mean, I feel like I should go this way to try and get to a fucking shortcut. Is this a door I can actually open? No. So let's try that. No, this is just... What the fuck? I think that's the door there that would have the shortcut. So I'm gonna have to go way the fuck around. Some other way to get there. Oh, it's here. Maybe. Not at all. The kick. Ugh, that takes a while. We'll try it. We'll fucking try it against the next enemy who persists in holding their shield up. What the fuck? Do these guys worship fucking beavers? Platypuses? Oh, it's people bending over. Okay, super hard enemies up there, so... Presumably it's gonna be over this way, where I get back to that shortcut. Large Titanite Shard. I'm gonna leave that there to just let me remember that I haven't gone that way yet. So that looks like that goes on for a while. That's the way I came up. Is that a bonfire? Jeez, I get a bonfire before even the shortcut. I mean, I might as well just beeline for it. All right, this video is at 52 minutes. This is what, number 33? Holy fuck, man. This is fucking hard as fuck. God damn. All right. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I appreciate it if you've stuck with me. Uh, let me know what you think. Am I just being a baby? Fuck, I'm, I'm not even going to sit up for the next episode. I'm just going to lay down. I got to fucking de-stress. Oh, man, I just want to slowly fucking explore and just, like, take out some enemies here and there. Find some cool items. Feel the satisfaction of a fucking good battle. Uh, yeah. This will be the end of 33. I'm just going to fire up 34 right away again. All right, peace out. Thanks for watching. Bye.